Hi hey everybody, so we're here. So it's the 30th of December. Um, so this is clearly going to be my last video of the year. <laughs> of this weird year. Um, what's happened in the past week besides Christmas obviously? Um, I wouldn't say much has happened. I mean, there hasn't been much on TV. Um, we have had a problem with our heating here. Um, the, what do you call it? The, I can't remember what you call it now. Pilot light. That wouldn't go on. So we have no, I have no heating and no hot water, except from the shower, because it's an electric shower. So hot water from that, but no hot water in the taps good job i have showers and not baths because <laughs> if i was somebody that didn't like showers but um i you know preferred baths i have no idea what i would have done because well, i would have had to have showers but frankly i'm someone who has showers instead of baths anyway yeah so um but no hot water no um well we had to boil, boil a kettle for a wash um, no heating. Um, my room is the smallest, and it was like cold in here. I was thinking, can it get any bit colder in here? Um, yeah. So there's that. Um, TV wise, it hasn't really been much, and I just realised, I'm like, it's New Year's Eve tomorrow, and I was like, hang on. Doctor Who is on on Friday, and who's on Doctor Who? It's Jodie Whittaker and John Barrowman <laughs> and Bradley Walsh and is it Toshi Cole? I think I, yeah, I think I got that name right. And Manti, is it Manti Gill? Oh, I just got the Gill, but from John Barrowman's husband. I'm not sure. Um, is there anybody else? No, it's the three of them. Doctor yeah, and John Byron, and yeah, I think I got more. Um, yeah, but I'm I'm I was when John Barrowman popped up in uh, the Fugitive of the Jadoon. I mean, I didn't know it. Some people had an idea. I, I, I've been reading spoilers, I try and stay away from spoilers of anything I'm, I watch, but um, yeah, I have no idea. Apparently, like I said, some people. Must have got an idea where he was. I remember seeing photos on Instagram, of his on Instagram, where he was doing doing up his flat. But he did actually do up his flat because to, to, to make it a surprise that he wasn't doing anything else. That he was doing something else, but he didn't want others to realise he was doing something else. So he was like doing up his place up in Cardiff to let me know. To make people think that's why he was in Cardiff. Um, but yeah, but I didn't think anything of that. And then <laughs> I've already said this in the video already, but I just remember um, watching that episode. Graham disappeared. Then he was in this ship. And I was like, when I heard the voice, I, I do, I, I mean, I needed an American voice. I was like, it's an American voice. Did you have American people in it? Um, and then there was one bit he said, and I was like, that sounds like Captain Jack. And then he said something else, and that made me think, that, that really does sound like John Barrowman, that is Captain Jack. Well, it, it really does sound like Captain Jack, but I was better my hopes up. And then it was only as he said, all right, you can get excited now. I was like, uh, no, hang on. Who else would say that unless say it's Captain Jack? And then he appears, and I was like, oh my fucking, sorry, I don't swear, but that's, I was like, oh my god, um, that is Captain Jack, John Barrowman, how on earth did he do that without anybody realising? But then he was literally in it for like, 10 minutes at the most, if you add all his scenes together. And so, so he did, he, he met like, um, Graham 
um why have i completely forgotten the other two names graham yaz and oh my god why have i forgotten his name um companions in Please come up. Don't come up with a whole list of the ones that have. Oh, like. oh, I don't want the early ones. I want the latest ones. Oh my god, what is his name? Graham. It's Graham. It's Bradley Walsh. You got. Mamdeep, who is um, got Mamdeep, who is what's the name? Yaz, and you got Toshin, who is what is his name? Ryan, Ryan, right? How, how I know, I know it was like I can't even think of any Ryans, I know, but yeah, I know it was like. I'm guessing a popular name, but I just couldn't think of what it was. Ryan, Graham, and yes. Um, and now because I've gone back, I completely forgot what I was saying. What was I saying about it? Yeah, he, he, he met Ryan, Yasmin, and Graham. Or oh, Yaz, I should say, not Yasmin. Um, but he didn't get to meet 13. And I was like, oh my god, come on. Then they said, where she needs me? I'll be there. So I was like, oh yeah, it's going to turn up later in the season. But it didn't. Um, and then it is in the Christmas episode. Well, New Year's episode. Um, so I am like, can't wait to see him in it. I um, absolutely love John Barrowman. Um, um, trying to think what else. Um, I have no idea when Grey's Anatomy starts back up, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. Um, last episode that was on finished with um, Meredith back on the beach. I think it literally shows her on the beach and then they finished. So please, when it starts, we need. Oh, it's gonna start with the hospital, isn't it? It's not gonna show like Meredith and Derek, but we know Derek is um Patrick is in more, so I'm happy about that. Um, and what else? I can't think what else. Um. um I don't think there's anything else to talk about. Oh, yes, there is. Um, there's actually just two, well, two things, but the kind of about the same thing. Um, all right, so sometime in the week, there was a post, I think um, Maz Murray posted it. Oh, let me change that. Hang on. That's better. Not blue. Um, yeah, Maz Murray posted something saying about she was going to be doing a show on well she was on a show with um Rufi Henschel um on Magic Magic at the Musical Magic at the Musicals now I've completely forgotten it it's, it's, it's the musical it's Magic Radio Station but the musical one they have because I, mean, I, I, I like christmas songs but 100 percent christmas it's a bit too much plus there's one christmas song i don't like and i knew that would come on so i was like i put the musical one on even i only hear maz even though she hasn't been on there while well, i've had it on so yeah so ruby henshaw is doing a show maz is in it with um doing it with her so it's like i think it's i can't remember what time it starts but it's um, over midnight 
is either 10 till 1 or 11 till, I don't think it's 11 till, I think it's 10 till 1. Um, so I'll be listening to that because, I mean, I, I, I wanted Rufy to win I'm a Celebrity. And she got voted out, was it second or third or something? So I probably would, would have listened to it anyway. And then I was like, when it said like Maz was doing it, I was like, okay, I'm definitely watching it. Because it's Maz. It's Maz, it's Mamma Mia's Donna. What? Well, the Mamma Mia West End Donna. Um, yeah, so there's that. <laughs> then... Um, all right, for a while I've been wanting to make another Instagram. I got my normal Instagram and I wanted to make another one, like a fan one. But it was like trying to think of a, a name or the thing because, like, if it was that certain thing, just say if it was like a fan website, a, a fan Instagram for Doctor Who, in it's probably easy to think of a Doctor Who reference to use as the name of it, but mine was going to be based on like. The music I like, the TV I like, the films I like, um, theatre shows I like, um, and more things if I can think of any. Um, so I think I've got about three posts on there. Um, um, I've got three posts on there. I've got. Um, if it hurry up and goes around and loads the page. Yeah, three posts. All right. My first one was because I started it. I made it and started it on 22nd of December. Actually, that was more than a week ago. Wasn't it? Actually, no, that it was a week yesterday. All right, just over a week ago. But I think. Yeah, but I made the video that I uploaded on the 27th, uh, 22nd even, um, before that day. I think it was like a couple of days before. Yeah, so the first post I made on there was about um, wishing Morris and Robin Gibb a happy birthday with a picture of the two of them. And it's just make me sad looking at it. I mean, both of them, because they both, neither of them are here anymore, but... I mean, Morris, because January is like the 18th anniversary. I think it's the 18th anniversary. 2023 will be the 20th anniversary, so yeah, 18th anniversary. Um, and people who know me know that Morris is my favourite BG. Love Robin, love um, Andy. Well, actually, and it's not BG, but it's a Gib and the Barry. Um, but Morris, he's my absolute favourite. And I mean, after losing those two, I'm kind of like, I mean, I was kind of what you call it about it when they lost Morris, but with um, when they lost Robin, I'm like, we need to keep Barry safe. Not safe, you know. You know what I mean. Like, we don't want it. None of the fans want anything to happen to him because then, like, there'd be no Bee Gees. But well, there's no Bee Gees if you know what I mean now. But it'd be it'd be the last time gone. Then I don't want that to happen. None of us want that to happen. It's gonna happen sometime, I know. But much worse. It's not for a long while yet. Um, yeah. So uh, my first post on there was um, wishing him a happy birthday. My second post was um, of the novella theatre. I don't know what I was going to call it novella. It's not a novella, it's novello theatre. Um, saying that I hope I get to go there to see. Hang on. I hope to get to go here to see Mama Mia the Musical um, sometime next year. It was all planned and up to go and see Maz Murray as Donna, but that all got cancelled. Fingers crossed for next year. Um, then the hashtags and all that. Um, and then my third photo was saying I'd been listening to Strings Attached by these two, not by these lovely two Irish guys. Um, 
and obviously I've got a picture of Brian McFadden and the lovely sexy Keith Duffy. Um, and you know I'm a, I'm more of a Boys Own fan than a Westlake fan, so clearly I'm more of a Keith fan, a Duster fan, than I am of Brian, but I, I love both of them. Um, yeah, I'm just laughing because it's like, as I clicked off that photo, there's a bit there and I'm like, oh my god, this is All right, so, actually I can't find my show you one here, can I remember? Obviously, I got like the name of it, the picture of it, like, I've got three posts, seven followers, 23 following, dying following. No, hang on. I'm not following 23 people. Oh yeah, actually I am, yeah. I didn't realise I was following that many. But hang on, but this is... Oh yeah, I'm following them. Oh, because I've logged on to my personal one. But I was thinking, I, I am following that person, so why is it not showing that? But yeah. So I'm following 23, I've got 7 followers and 3 posts. And it's got like the name of the thing, and then it's got like my fan page for my many loves of the world of entertainment and then it's got followed by I mean I've got seven followers but there's like one name that is on this has got followed by and it's got the name okay so when I saw I had um you know where you got the heart and then it's like you've got followers or likes or whatever I saw I had a few likes or one like um for one of my photos um and I think it was a follow from someone as well. I never followed. There was a follow from someone like, um, I don't know who they were. And then I was like, hang on, there's somebody on here following me that I'm already following. And I was like, hang on, that can't be right. I only went and got a follow on my page, like the first famous person that's following it, being Mars Murray itself. Uh, and I was like, I had it like one, but I, I didn't make it um, like one of my posts on Twitter before. I mean, I posted something and then she liked it, and that surprised me then. But the fact she actually followed me on this, and I was like, I, I'm guessing it kind of helped that the picture, like my profile picture, is Novello. But um, yeah, I just like, I had a smile on my face the whole day when I saw that. Because I was couldn't get it in my head. I could I couldn't. What's it called? Oh, I can't think of it. I, I just couldn't. Um, it just wouldn't sink in that she was actually following me. <laughs> so like I, I think I watched a video of it, it was like later on the evening, and I was like, I had to have this big smile on my face. I was like, oh, following me? Oh my god. Um. Yeah, and I'm, some people are probably like, who is she? I mean, if it was the John Barrowman or if it was, um, uh, uh, Barry Gibb. My God, if Barry Gibb followed me, oh my God. Um, yeah, if, if it was somebody like John Barrowman or Barry Gibb, well, I would see David Tennant, but he hasn't got a Twitter um, and Instagram. Um, and then they'd be like, oh yeah, know who that person is. But Maz, I'm guessing she is probably well known by a lot of people, but like maybe not worldwide. So, um, yeah, so, uh, sorry, I was just like looking around and I showed Lewis Hamilton and I said, Sir, and I was like, Is this it? I know, I know what you think about him being a Sir, but that's the first time I've seen it, Sir. Um, yeah, anyway, um, so, we end on that high that Maz Murray followed me, um, yeah, so I will see you in my next video, um, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year, um, and I will see you next week sometime, so, see you then, bye-bye.